Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Tammy, the creator of the blog and this YouTube channel called Nutmeg Notebook. And this is where I share with you all about a whole food plant-based lifestyle. Today, it's all about batch prepping salads. Yes, you can batch prep salads. So I believe in working smarter, not harder. In the kitchen, my husband Tom and I eat a salad for one of our main meals every day of the week. And I just got tired of having to drag all these ingredients out to create salads every day. So I decided to start batch prepping them in advance and they honestly do last up to a week. Now, how long they're going to last is going to be dependent on how fresh the ingredients are that you start with. So if the spinach and the kale are already old or the romaine you've had in your refrigerator already for a week, are they gonna last a week for you? No, absolutely not. So I batch prep everything with extremely fresh ingredients. When I go to the store to purchase the spinach and the kale, I look at the expiration date on them because I buy the containers like this that are one pound that come triple washed. And I know that I need these to last through next Friday. And so I look at the date and make sure that the expiration date on them is going to exceed when I will be eating my last salad. You also, if you're growing your own greens, you want to wash them, lay them out on kitchen towels and let them get completely dry before you start to assemble your salads. It's that extra moisture in there that will cause everything to start to spoil. So same with the cabbage. I buy fresh cabbage. I buy my tomatoes fresh, the red onions. I get, I'm making 12 salads today. Um, we each eat one, then on the seventh day, we go to the store, buy more, and make more salads. I have six heads of romaine that we've already washed and let dry, and I've cut in half. This is a, probably about a pound and a half or so of red cabbage. I just buy an organic red cabbage, and then I cut it up myself. This is spinach, and this is baby kale, both triple washed. Um, this is a couple pounds of tomatoes. This was about, oh, one and a half red onions because I didn't have really large red onions. And so I used about one and a half of those. I do buy the broccoli slaw, organic broccoli slaw. They sell this at Whole Foods or at Trader Joe's. I use two bags of that. And then I buy the shredded carrots. I can shred my own, but when I shred my own, they have a lot more moisture in them. And that just creates a lot of potential then for the greens to get soggy. So I buy the pre-shredded ones. These are 10 ounce bags. How big you want your salads is up to you. It depends on how big of salads will fill you up. This is what we have determined works really well for us. And we've been eating salads for one meal a day as a main dish since 2013 when we first adopted a whole food plant-based lifestyle. So I'm just going to move this out of my way and set up my containers so that I can show you how I fill them. Now, this is a new way that I've started doing these. I was interviewing Lori Armitage, a friend of mine from the plant-based world, and she said, well, Tammy, I use your method to make the batch prepped salads. She said, except I don't mix everything up in a bowl. I just put handfuls of everything in each container. And I, other people have suggested that to me. So about a month or so ago, I decided to try it. Guess what? It's a time saver. So I'm all about saving time in the kitchen, you guys. So that's what I'm doing. Now, after we assemble our salads, I love that they'll stack and go in the refrigerator, but before we eat them, we chop them and make them into chopped salads. And I have videos to show you how we do that. So what I usually start with is the romaine and I put it in the bottom. Now, if you want, you can put a paper towel in the bottom if each one of these, or if you have like a tea towel that you can cut up, you could put that in the bottom. That would help absorb some of the moisture if things are more damp that you're putting in. So I just have these cut. This, these were really long heads of romaine. And I'm just putting them in the bottom of each container. These are Ziploc 
containers that I'm using and they are nine cup and I buy them at Target or Walmart usually have them. You can get them on Amazon. They're more expensive on Amazon than if you buy them at one of the discount stores. Okay, I doubled up. Yep, I sure did right there. That one had two. So that's what I do with the romaine. Now, the only thing that really gets kind of oxidizes and maybe starts to look a little bit rusty in these salads is the romaine. And I've been tempted lately to limit the romaine, but I haven't decided what I would use to replace it with. But the kale and the baby spinach seem to hold up really well. So then I just start by putting a handful in each one. Now I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I think what originally bothered me about this method is that I didn't know if I was getting the exact amount in each salad. But you know what? It evens out over the course of the, of the week when you start eating them. You might have one salad one day that's slightly larger than another day, but that's okay. It's all gonna even out in the end. Now I have just a little bit left, so I just look for one where I maybe was a little bit light on um, divvying it up and just try to even it out. So this really is a good little time saver. I used to put everything in a bowl and mix it up and that did take more time. Now I have the baby kale. And it looks like there's different varieties of kale in this one. Sometimes it's all little tiny. This one looks like they did a couple different varieties in it. But I do like the flavor of the kale chopped. It's so good. Plus all of these dark leafy greens are great for our gut biome. Okay, so we've got the romaine, the spinach, and the baby kale in the salads and now I'm going to do my red cabbage and you know you decide how big you want your salads and what ingredients you prefer in your salads and just go with that. There's no right or wrong to this. It just depends on what you like. I do like the color and the crunch and the flavor that the red cabbage offers in the salads. Now I'm just going to do the broccoli slaw. I like the crunch that it offers. It's a cruciferous vegetable, which is really healthy for us. It adds a nice flavor and a different texture as well. Okay, so there's the broccoli slaw and now the shredded carrots. And there is a little bit of shredded carrots in the broccoli slaw, but I like more than that. So that's why I like using a couple bags of the shredded. This also offers a lot of color and crunch to the salad. And even after we chop it, you still get all that beautiful color and crunch. Okay, so it's just a little bit of a guessing game of how even I have gotten it, but I just, I don't worry about it. I mean, sometimes you just have to let go of perfection to make it doable. And we love eating salads every day, so that's why I had to figure out a way to make it easy. Now I've got red onion. I choose the red onion because the vegetables that have more pigment have more antioxidants. And so, you know, include onion if you like it. If you don't, that's okay too. Okay. And it also, it adds a lot of color. Let's see, is there one that's a little bit lighter? I've got these cut, so I just as well use them in the salads. And then the tomatoes. So these are organic little salad tomatoes. And I know normally we say don't refrigerate tomatoes because it'll make them mealy and mushy. We have found that with the little salad tomatoes, it does not. And so that's why I go ahead and include them. And I like to do about eight. That just 
seems to work out pretty good with these containers that I buy of the tomatoes. So we are growing our own tomatoes. I'll be so excited when we have some to harvest and they are spectacular in our salads because the homegrown ones are just so deliciously sweet. And here we go. See, that worked out pretty good. So the great thing about this is because I make them pretty much the same every week is I know exactly what I need to purchase to make the, these. And so that just cuts down on the amount of time it takes to make my grocery list. When I go to the store, I can just easily pick out what I need because I know what I need to make these salads every day. Also, it ensures that we're going to eat salads every day because we already have them made. And that's the great thing about batch prepping is then you are prepared and you don't have an excuse to not eat healthy. Then the last thing that I do is I just put the lids on them and see you have these wonderful little prepped salads. And we even found lunch boxes that these salads will fit into and um, I can link to those as well. And what's great about these containers is as you can see, they nest, they stack. And so for storage when, as you're um, emptying the containers during the week, then um, when you go to wash them and put them in your cabinet, then they will nest and the lids nest. And in the refrigerator, they stack and Oop, you hear that crunch? That was a little bit of lettuce there that was on the edge. And like I said, what we like to do is we like to end up chopping these salads in a wood bowl and adding different toppings to them to make them very filling. So we'll put a link in the show notes to our chopped videos, um, chopped salad videos so that you can see what we're talking about with those. And we like to add starch to our salads to make them more satisfying and filling. And there's lots of different ways that you can dress out these salads so that they're different. You can make them different every day if you want. You can vary the greens if you want to from week to week, depending on what's available seasonally. I've just started doing some sprouting too. So when we go to eat the salads after we've chopped them, we are enjoying adding sprouts, alfalfa sprouts and broccoli sprouts. So there you go. That is it. In just minutes, I was able to make 12 salads and now we're set. This is 12 meals for us for the week that we don't have to think about, we don't have to prep, they are ready to go. Okay, so I wanna show you how they fit in my refrigerator. I have all 12 of them in here. So this is um, two stacks deep of three, and then those I just turn upside down and then they slide in there. So that's nine of them, and then Here's the last three, so 12. So we're all set. Makes it really easy, convenient, and it ensures that we're gonna eat a salad as our main meal one day a week. Oh, I also wanted to address, I wear the gloves when I'm making the salads because otherwise I get all the green from the greens underneath my nails and the red pigment from the red onion. And so this just, um, saves my hands from looking grungy. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll post links to everything down below in the show notes for you. And um, I'll try to do a companion blog post as well so that you have a reference to go to for all the different items that we talked about today. So I hope you'll give batch prepping your salads a try. And just remember to make sure that the ingredients are very dry and extremely fresh. And if you want, you can put a 
cloth in the bottom of each container or a paper towel to help absorb the moisture. Some people tell me they put one on the bottom and one on the top and just use the absolutely freshest ingredients that you can get so that your salads will stay fresh for as long as possible. If you haven't subscribed to the blog yet, please do give me a thumbs up and click on that icon of a bell so that you'll get notifications when we go live. And my husband Tom and I do a live show on Sundays at 4 p.m. Pacific time where we address your questions about a whole food plant-based lifestyle or we interview really interesting people from the plant-based community. And if you haven't signed up to get on our newsletter yet, go over to nutmegnotebook.com and subscribe so that you'll get on our weekly newsletter mail list. So I'm Tammy and I help you get healthy and stay healthy one salad at a time. So thanks so much for watching today, you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.